Hello, hello friends and welcome back to Great Ink Spectations. I am Andy and I have a very, very exciting unboxing to do today. So this is my first order <laughs> of several orders placed for Fountain Pen Day. And I placed this order with endless pens. So I'm gonna pull these items out so that I can get rid of the box. <laughs> And we will tear into this. I am so excited about these purchases. All right, let me zoom you in just a little bit and we can tackle this stack together. And I'm going to need some scissors. Be right back. The first thing is a Midori notebook. I have discovered in the last, I don't know, several weeks that I really enjoy Midori paper. I'm working on a couple of different um, transcription projects, so it's nice to have that ready to go. I also purchased several items from Wearing Gold. I am always looking for the best way to keep track of my inks. So I did purchase two, oh, let's see, yay, two packages of Wearing Gold swatch cards. So I got the Smile Cat, Cheshire Cat face cards because I think those are so cool. And then I got some horizontal ones that have an ink bottle on them and they will fit nicely in this notebook, which just seems like a really clean, kind of easy way to keep track of swatches. So I am super excited for those. We have two bottles of Wearing Wool ink. The Black Cat and Dracula. I will be sharing the Black Cat with my bestie. Her name is Heather. You can find her at Capricious Reader on Instagram. So we both wanted the Black Cat ink and we both really like the Dracula ink and we will probably never go through a whole bottle alone. So I'm going to send her half of both of those inks. So that's exciting. Get yourself a bestie, a book and pen and stuff friend that you can trade inks with and share inks with. And then let's be real. This is the creme de la creme, the most exciting of all the wonderful things. New pen day. I have waffled about what narwhal pen to buy for months. I wanted a Nautilus of some variety for a while, whether it was the Voyage Vacation or one of the ones with the super cute porthole ink windows. And I finally got to lay hands on them at the Dallas Pen Show in September. Um, a narwhal of some variety was on my short list of pens to buy, but I found some other pens first. Um, so I did not purchase one then, but with this sale going on, it was a super deep discount, super affordable. So I went ahead and decided to purchase the narwhal nautilus in the Stylophora Berry colorway. This is an ebonite pen. I have wanted an ebonite pen for a while now Ooh. and finally decided that this was the one. And looking at it now, I'm so glad I did. This pen is beautiful. <laughs> I could not be more tickled to have this in my hands. So one thing I had to kind of compromise on was the nib size. I got this pen in a broad nib because it's what they had in stock. Now, one of the nice things about Narwhal 
is that it is super easy to buy replacement nibs from the company. So this is broad nib and I have already purchased a fine and a medium that I can put on this pen. So it should be super easy to unscrew this nib unit and replace it with another size. I am so pleased with this color. Ebonite is so beautiful. It almost looks like the texture of like a tree branch or a tree trunk. But it's a hardened vulcanized rubber material that fountain pens and feeds have been made out of for a really long time. And they've sort of come back into fashion here recently. And uh, Narwhal has several different pens in various ebonites. Uh, so there's the Stylophora Berry, there's like Chelonia Green, Mylandia Blue, all these different colors. But I just could not resist this berry color. Online, it was a little hard to tell if it was gonna be like a burgundy Merlot kind of color. This looks a little more purple, but with the darker black and then the rose gold appointments, it doesn't scream purple. It is a very comfortable pen. We can do some size comparisons. I have some pens here with me. So we have the Leonardo Memento Zero Grande. Very similarly sized. The MG, MZG may be just a little bit bigger. We have the Twisby VAC 700 and an Esterbrook SD. All very similarly sized pens, and I would argue similarly sized grips. The uh, threads on this pen are not sharp at all. They feel really nice. And I am so excited to give this a go. So I think for a writing sample, we're gonna dip test in Sailor Grenade. I happen to have it here on the desk. It's a nice, well-behaved ink. And I have my Loister journal here. I also, speaking of new pen day, I also purchased this Twisby Heat from a very nice seller on Mercari. It came with a stub nib and an unnamed green ink that I really like in it. <laughs> So I'm trying to find out from the seller exactly what that ink is. Because who knows, I might need a bottle of it. All right, so let's dip this. All right, I dipped it pretty deep, so I'm going to go ahead and wipe it off a little bit. That is a great writer. That is a super broad nib. <laughs> Definitely not a broad nib gal still, but it is incredibly smooth and feels just fantastic. If anybody watches Gourmet Pens, she's the one that got me started writing Hello Jello uh, when I'm testing pens. <laughs> it's all her fault. This is beautiful. I have no regrets whatsoever. And I guarantee this is not the last narwhal that you'll see on this channel. It is so pretty. It writes so beautifully. 
and I just love it. I can't wait to ink it up. I'll ink it up with something and use it for headings until I get some of those other replacement nibs in. Thank you all so much for tuning in to this video. If you have a narwhal pen, tell me which one is your favorite um, and what kind of goodies did you get for Fountain Pen Day? I placed two orders from Endless Pens. I placed a Goulet order and then there's possibly also gonna be an Atlas Stationers order. So, my wallet quivers in the corner and I am on a no spend for a little while. But have all kinds of new goodies to play with on this channel. So I will talk to you soon.